If it is Prime Minister Drought Relief Fund, it is applicable for 50% deduction. If it is not mentioned, it is applicable for 100%. Rebate only you will get if it is only less than 5 lakh. If it is more than 5 lakh, the rebate option will not be applicable. A warm welcome to one and all. This is your Adha Sir here. Let's begin with the Ashram First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence. Now we are discussing topic called Session Four, Unit Three of Income Tax Two. Under Income Tax Two, we are discussing the topic Assessment of Individual. Now, in the previous session, we discussed about all the small small. Topics like the format of assessment of individual, the tax slab for below sixty, tax slab from sixty to eighty, and the tax slab from eighty and above. And in the previous session, I asked a small question. So, what is the tax payable in case the salary is eight lakh? Not salary, your total income is eight lakh. I got answers from many, and even I answered in the Uh, comment box. What is the right answer? And congratulations, one who answered correctly. Now, in today's session, we'll go with problems on assessment of individual. We'll work out only one problem. It is a basic problem actually. So we will do how much the tax liability. Later, we'll go for the tax calculation also. Simple one. So whatever I am doing today, it is almost seventy percent of your. Exam problem, not hundred percent. Why? Because uh, I have taken some basic problem today. In the next session, we'll go exactly your question paper problem. So problem number one: Kishor gives the following information of his income for the previous year, nineteen twenty, and compute total taxable income for the assessment year two thousand twenty and twenty one. In this. Rent received per month. How much rent you received? Nine thousand per month. You received. Then income from rent received from month. It comes under what? You have total five heads. Income from salary. Income from house property. Income from business or profession. Income from capital gain. And the last part will be income from other source. Now, as per this, we'll go for the first one. Income from Salary. So under salary, we will check. First one is what rent received. Whatever rent received comes under what income from house property. Now this is what house property. Should we take this nine thousand directly? No. So this is nine thousand per month. We are supposed to calculate. Now we need per month or per annum. Per annum we needed. Have they given anywhere computed? They have not given word called computed. Now, what we are supposed to do? Nine thousand into twelve, you will get around one lakh eight thousand. How much you got income from house property? One lakh eight thousand. They have not mentioned computed. Computed in the sense whether the standard deduction deducted. If you are Studied properly in the previous sem, we have done your house property. While doing house property, we have deducted thirty percent standard deduction. Now one lakh eight thousand minus thirty percent, you will get around how much? Thirty and two four, around two three thousand two forty something you will get. So that we have to minus not three thousand two forty, thirty two thousand four hundred. Thirty-two thousand four hundred minus you will get income from house property. Hope you are clear. How to find out income from house property? So very simple. Multiply into per annum. From that you minus thirty percent standard deduction. You will get income from house property. They will not ask you like this. Let out property. Self occupied or interest received or any charges paid, municipal tax, all those things they will not ask you. That is already done in your previous sem. Those small small calculation already done in your previous sem. Here only you are calculating assessment of individual. You are not calculating assessment of your house property. Hope you are clear. Good. Now house property is done. Second one. 
income from business computed means they have done all the calculation take it directly your income from business is 2 lakh then income from salary computed they have done all the calculation take income from salary directly now remember the format we have done in the previous session income from salary below that income from house property below that income from business or profession below that income from capital gain add everything calculate tax this much only now income from other source 1 lakh 2000 take it directly after this he makes payment see these are your income these are your payment why this payment this payment is 80c to 80u all the payments related to 80c to 80u we'll go one by one what comes under 80c 80d 80u already we have done all kinds of deduction this is the reason i completed your deduction why because now you will understand better now as per this your life insurance premium life insurance any investment comes under what 80c what is the limit up to 150000 no tax good next donation to prime minister relief fund donation comes under what donation comes under 80g next interest on education loan education for 80e medical insurance premium all the medical insurance comes under what yes it comes under 80 see if you know the deduction easy to identify whether it comes under what now remember donation to prime minister relief fund they have not mentioned prime minister drought relief fund again i'll repeat they have not mentioned prime minister drought relief fund if it is prime minister drought relief fund it is applicable for 50 percent deduction if it is not mentioned it is applicable for 100 percent that i'll give you four indira gandhi rajiv gandhi Jawaharlal Nehru and donation for Prime Minister Drought Relief Fund. These things comes for 50% deduction. Other than these four, rest of the things will come for 100% deduction. So this will come under what? 100% deduction under 80G. Hope you are clear. Good. Hope you understood the question. Now we are supposed to find out total taxable income they have not asked us to prepare tax amount we have to find out only what taxable income not tax only taxable income those tax lab and all we don't require now so what is your taxable income add everything minus deduction that much only your taxable income hope you are clear add everything minus your deduction that is your taxable income we'll go for that income from salary i'll go back to question salary is how much four lakh ten thousand income from salary four lakh ten thousand that is done second one income from business two lakh so income from business two lakh it is done next income from other source 1 lakh 2000 now income from other source 1 lakh 2000 your house property as per house property 9000 into 12 what is your per annum per annum is 1 lakh 8000 your income from house property is yes rent received 9000 per month 9000 into 12 it will become 1 lakh 8000 for the 30 percent deduction if you minus 30 percent it will come how much 75 600 how like 9000 into 12 you got 1 lakh 8000 already calculated minus 30 percent it will be 32 400 your answer will be 75 600.
So up to this you have done, what is your total income? Your total income means we call it as gross total income. What is this? Gross total income. After getting your gross total income, what is the next procedure? If there are any deductions, we are supposed to minus. Now, we know that deduction number one, number two, number three, number four. Total how many deductions we have? Four. What is the first one? Your life insurance premium ATC. What is the limit of ATC? 1,50,000. But how much we have? 25. So easily you can claim. Donation to relief fund, 100%. Whatever they have given 15,000, take 15,000. Interest on education loan, unlimited. So how much interest paid? 8,500, take. Medical insurance premium, if you are an individual, how much? 25,000. If you are a senior citizen, it will be 50,000. But you are an individual and how much they have given? 12,000. If it is 12,000, easily you can take. Uh, irrespective of restrictions, you can take everything because everything within the maximum limit itself. Now, we'll go one by one. Deduction under section ATC, this 25,000 here not required. Contribution to life insurance premium, 25,000. I'll write it separately here, 25,000. Then, deduction under ATD, medical insurance premium paid 12,000 are the maximum limit is 25. Whichever is less, 12,000. So we'll go with 12,000. Next. Deduction under section 80E, interest on loan, 8,500. So you can go for 8,500. Deduction under section 80G, donation to Prime Minister National Relief Fund, 100% of 15,000, we go with 15,000. Now, so what was your gross total income? 7,87,600. 787 600 minus total of this minus 60,000 you will get 727100 what is this taxable income so how much you got taxable income 727100 is called as taxable income you should do more no why because in the question they have asked that just compute taxable income. They have not asked you to prepare tax value. Tax value is not required, only you are supposed to find out taxable income. But we will do in this session. It takes maximum 5 to 10 minutes, but solution you are only supposed to give. Now, just I'll tell you the procedure, but calculation answer will be your homework for the day. Clear? So your homework is what? I'll show, show you the procedure, but the answer is your work. Clear? So how much you got? 7,27,100. What is your taxable income? 7,27,100. In this, 7,27,100. It is above 5 lakh. Above 5 lakh means 3 category. Below 5 lakh, two category above 10 lakh four category what is this four category three two one i have already explained you in the previous session please go back to your previous session in that i have explained you all the basic terms now seven lakh twenty seven first two lakh fifty zero no tax two lakh fifty to five lakh what is the difference another two lakh fifty 5% balance 2,27,120% Hope you are clear. Like this you are supposed to do. So cross verification is very simple. If you add this, it should match 7,27,1. That's it. Then if you match it means your problem is correct. Now, I'll show you the working note. How did you get this? 2,50 is the first one. This is 5,50,000. 
This is seven lakh twenty seven one hundred. Seven lakh twenty seven one hundred minus five lakh. So now it is easy to calculate, easy to understand also. Now two lakh fifty thousand five percent. How much you will get? Calculate it. The first one is zero. Second one is around twelve thousand five hundred. And third one, if you calculate, it will be how much? Um, it will be two, four, five, four, four thousand. Yes, forty-five thousand four hundred and twenty. Approximate. I am not sure. So it will come around forty-five thousand four twenty. Yes, yes. So total, it will be how much? Fifty. Seven thousand nine twenty. For that plus four percent education says almost I only done this, so no need to do homework. I'll give you separate homework. Now hope you are clear. Up to this we call it as computation of taxable income. This we call it as computation of tax. Tax means you are calculated as per this lab. Above five lakh categorized into three. Below five lakh two. Below two point five one, about ten lakh four. Hope you are clear now. Should we get rebate? No. Why? The reason is rebate you will get only if it is less than five lakh. Rebate only you will get if it is only less than five lakh. If it is more than five lakh, the rebate option will not applicable for this person. Hope you are clear. Yes. Now I'll go back to your previous slides. Please take screenshot. So your problem number one, your solution part, continuation of your solution. So this is all about your today's session. Hope you understood how to do assessment of individual. Now, what is your today's homework? Homework is very simple. You have to write two to three lines about rebate. So what you are supposed to write in today's session? You are supposed to write two to three lines about rebate. No, no much explanation. What is rebate and what is a, a section for rebate? In the previous session, I have explained you what is a section for rebate. Along with that, what is the limit of rebate? Clear? So, in the two to three lines, you have to explain me what is rebate. Thank you.